All right, what's going on, guys? Um, here I'm going to do a video. Uh, I've got this. Um, got several chainsaw bars here with uh, heavy rust, and the rust has actually gotten into some of the grooves. Um, still works. It, as you can see, it's it's seen better days. I probably should just trash this, but wanted to see this and see if it really worked. I'm going to be trying to get the rust off with vinegar, uh, just vinegar. Uh, so I got this large bucket here, um, and I've never seen uh, this much rust on a bar, but we got this, and we've got this one, pretty bad. And we've got this one. And we're going to soak these overnight, best as we can, with white, white vinegar. This is pretty cheap. Uh, so I'm going to see if this works. I've seen people do tools with this. I did have a um, pair of pliers I was going to throw in here too. But, um, so basically we're just going to, uh, try to get this thing off. It's got the safety tab in. I guess pour it in here. So, got them covered up. I'm gonna leave this overnight. Uh, make sure they're all under underneath, and we're gonna let this soak uh, overnight and see. Come back out and see if uh, the rust is gone. All right, day two. Uh, it hasn't been quite 24 hours, but let's get us closer here. Now, if you notice, um. The water is not brown. This isn't like a, a, a cleaner, as in the water is not going to be brown with with uh, the rust. You're going to have to wash off the rust. So let's uh, let's see what we can do. We can already see it's going off pretty good. So I'm going to take the scrub brush, kind of just go over it, and you can see where it's just coming off. Almost like magic. As you can see, it's working. Here's the here's the really rusty side. Let's put this one back in and clean it inside the vinegar. Look at that. So there you go. If you got a chainsaw bar and it's rusting, but it's still usable. Try some white vinegar on it. It's still, it's the, the rust is so thick, you're going to have to go back over it. But like I said, your, your water's not going to be brown. It's not like that kind of solvent here. And if I have to, I'll just take a Brillo pad. But So there we go. Um... You know, you got a much nicer looking bar, uh, but my concern was more of the inside, uh, which is what I got this thing for. So, because I actually had rust in the inside of the rail, and it was actually on the chain. The chain was having trouble going through, so... And then what I'll do is I'll throw some WD, I'll take an air hose, get all the vinegar off, and then I'm going to go back over it with some WD-40 in some places. If 
but I'll do that when it dries that way the uh, but you can see and I don't know if you see that but there's still gunk inside that I have to get out with the air hose but look at that took the rust right off here's one that's a little bit rustier This one I'm going to have to use a Brillo pad, but it's, it's coming off, but it gets, I'm going to have to use a Brillo pad. This is not uh, rough enough, but it's coming off. That's the important thing. Yeah, look at it just washing away there. So there you go. White vinegar to clean chainsaw bars. All right, so we're back. I just wanted to show you the finished product after I've, you know, it's got a lot of silver, uh, but you see no more rust. And I got it all out of the, I don't know if you can tell the difference there. So, there it is, uh, finished product. Uh, the chain, like I said, you can see where the rust was right there. You can see it coming through on the chain. So, you know, if you, if you ever have a problem with a uh, rusty bar, uh, try this out see if it works uh, just use w uh, white vinegar no water and an air hose thanks